Hi, today we're here to talk about the importance of boron and how we can manage it in the growing crop. Boron deficiency is actually probably one of the most prevalent deficiencies of all the micronutrients. One of the challenges with boron it is derived from organic matter and as our soils dry down that release of boron from the organic matter is reduced. So what are the functions of boron? Well the first function we all know, boron is important for pollination. Low levels of boron at pollination time will lead to an increase in indiol acetic acid which breaks down the hormone auxin. And auxin is important for the elongation of the pollen tube. Boron is also important for hydration of the pollen grains. The second function of boron is it's important for cell wall integrity of our roots. And this will reduce beneficial root exudates leaking out into the root rhizosphere. And these are things like carbohydrates and sugars produced through photosynthesis. And these food sources can lead to an increase in pathogens and disease. A third function of boron is that it can help with the uptake of nutrients like nitrogen and potassium. So what factors affect boron availability and lead to deficiency? The first factor is boron adsorption. We're going to see this on high pH soils with low organic matter and a higher clay content. That second factor is going to be through leaching. We know boron is mobile in the soil, so if we have light soils with high rainfall and low pH, we're going to see that boron leach out of the rooting zone. Thirdly, boron's not mobile within the plant. So basically, if we've got lots of boron in the leaves, we cannot reallocate it to the reproductive parts of the plant. So we need a good boron supply around the roots. So when we get deficiency of boron, what are the symptoms we want to be looking for? Well, firstly, we're going to see poor pod set, poor seed set. Secondly, we're going to see a reduction in the rhizobia in lentil crops. So this is important in things like peas and lentils. Thirdly, we're going to see a significant reduction in root mass because all of those sugars that were made during photosynthesis and should have been stored will leak out through the root. We're also going to see a breakdown in the growing point of the plant. So how do we avoid deficiency? Well, timing of application is critical. We've been scored in that the timing for boron is 10% flowering. This is right if we want to manage sufficient soils just for reproduction. However, most of our soils are becoming deficient. So under a deficient scenario, really we should start in the soil and then follow up at flowering with a foliar product. If logistics don't let us start in the soil, a second best would be two foliar applications, one at herbicide and one at flowering. So talking of those options, what products do ATP have available? First option we have is our relief family of nutrients. Our second option that we have is our energy line of micronutrients. And our third option that we have is our kinetic line of single micronutrients. If you'd like more information on any of these products, please feel free to have a look at our website. Thank you.